and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bloodstained Wings, and you'll be excited to know I decided to do another recipe page. And what recipe is it? Well, it's carrot ginger soup, of course. This is actually one of my favorite soups to make, and I'm really excited to paint it for you guys. It's a very, very simple recipe, which is why I like making it, and it also tastes really good, and it's also really good for you, because both carrots and ginger are really good for you. So uh, I hope you guys are ready to paint along. Okay, so, um, as you guys saw in the intro, uh, this is another one of my recipe pages. Um, this is actually a legit recipe. This is a for real recipe, but this time it's my recipe. That's right. I don't know where I first saw this recipe, but I do know that I modified it heavily because, listen, your girl is lazy. Um, like hella lazy? Like super lazy. And some things have too many ingredients in them. And <laughs> that's just a fact, okay? Things just have too many ingredients sometimes and you're like, no, I don't want too many ingredients. So you parse it down, you take out what you can, you're like, I'm gonna simplify this, I'm gonna keep simplifying this, and eventually, eventually you end up with um, a recipe that you're happy with that still tastes good, but is also easy to make. This is, just happens to be one of those recipes. Um, and so, uh, I decided to share with you guys my wonderful carrot and ginger soup. Uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's carrot and ginger. There's a little bit of onion in there for some flavor uh, because, you know, a little bit more flavor is good. But it is like 97% carrot and ginger. So the way you do this is that you're going to start with like two healthy sized carrots. I put the carrots in the soup there for visuals so that you knew it was carrots, but you don't have to do that. That's just for visuals. Um, it's just going to be like a creamy soup because this is a blended soup. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to start with two healthy sized carrots and you're going to blend or you're going to, you're going to dice them up, not blend, dice. You're going to dice them up. I'm blending. That's what I'm doing, but you're going to dice them up. And, um, and then you, if you're using fresh ginger, you want to grate it, um, so that there's only about a tablespoon. Um, if you're, if you like really spicy things, feel free to put more than a tablespoon in. But I find that a tablespoon for like two big carrots is like a pretty good ratio. It's not like overly spicy, but it's got like that kick, you know? You're like, oh mm, yeah, that ginger kick, um, you know? Um, but I'm kind of a weakling for things. So you put as much ginger in as you feel fit. But uh, I definitely am only going to put in one tablespoon, about. Um, and that's still like, that's still like a lot of ginger to me. <laughs> Um, if it's not fresh, you can go with less um, or more of the dried stuff, depending again on your taste. Um, it really just is dependent on your taste. So you'll get a feel for this as you go, um, as, as you make it, as you make your version of it. Um, but I found that this was my... Also, your carrot sizes are going to be different than my carrot sizes. I use some pretty hefty carrots, like some pretty hefty carrots. Uh, I like to use uh, just like two big ones because uh, I'm lazy. I said this already. Um, so really, I get away with doing as little as possible. Like I only have to peel and dice two carrots as opposed to peeling and dicing five. Um, but I know that carrots come in different sizes because they are a natural ingredient. And so, you know, you'll have to size it up for yourself. But two decent sized carrots is what I use. Like, like they're like this big and maybe like, maybe like this thick on the thick end and then like thin down here, but like, like thick, like good ones. You're like, yes, this is a good carrot. Um, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know what carrots are like where you guys are. You want to, you guys want to have a talk in the discussion in the chat about, uh, about, about carrots and carrot sizes? Wow, I just realized that's like super sexual. That's not what I meant when I said it, but you know, we're not taking it back now. So if you guys want to talk about that, you know, feel free. <laughs> I am not going to tell you those kind of sizes, but for carrots, <laughs> for this soup in particular, for this purpose of eating a carrot, there's no saving this conversation, is there? <laughs> okay, 
<clears throat> now that we have our base coat down, um, and we're not talking about anything rude or lewd, we're definitely talking about only good things here. Um, we're gonna do this method a different way than we usually paint. So I'm gonna grab some of my paint thinner and I'm gonna be painting this with paint thinner. Not with goop, but with paint thinner. We did the goop on everything. Um, so I'm gonna start with, what should I start with? Yellow, obviously. I'm gonna start with yellow ochre. And I'm gonna try to get a kind of ginger color. Yeah, that's a thing. Sure. I'm going to try to get a ginger color out of my yellow. And we're going to paint the ginger first. Ginger is kind of like taupe. It's kind of taupe colored um, with like a more white on the middle, but that is way too much of this. We're going to blend that out. There we go. Just give it a kind of yellow hue to it a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna paint some ginger. Uh, anyways, after you get the ginger and the carrots, uh, oh, and, and the onion. Did I put the onion here? Yeah, I did. And one small onion. Good. One small onion. You can, if you like more garlicky flavors, you can use, instead of using an onion, onion, they're pff, words, uh, instead of using an onion, uh, you can use a shallot. It'll be slightly more garlicky flavored, and that's a good thing for some people and a bad thing for others, so... You know, know yourself when doing that, know yourself. Um, but I, uh, I like either way. It doesn't matter to me personally, which way I go about it. Thinning down some white, getting a little bit of that ginger color I made, but I'm very much staying in the whites because the inside of ginger is like a white color. There we go. Ha! Huh, look at that. Um, and we can do little highlights as well while, while we are at this. A little highlight to the bump there. There we go. And a little bump here. So it's got this little like highlighted bumpy situation looks like ginger that's exactly what we're going for excellent nailed it beautiful um let's move on to the green i think the green is going to be more fun to do next so i'm going to do the green next <laughs> that's how my brain works um we're basically cleaning the brush after every time we use it so i don't think we need to do the anything in order so i'm just going to do this how i want to do it this is just a little bit of sap green. Good old family friendly sap green. Anyways, after you get, uh, I, I don't know how to keep a, a thought going here with this, but you, you dice those up, the carrots and the onion, um, or shallot if you prefer. You grate the ginger, about a tablespoon if you're using fresh. If you're not, then you know less or more depending on your taste. Um, and you're going to lightly saute those in like a soup pot. Just lightly saute them, get them nice and warm. And then um, once it's uh, nice and like saute like, then you uh, pour in a bunch of water. Like you just fill that pot with water. Um, like it's nobody's business. You just fill it right up. And uh, you boil that sucker for about 30 minutes. Um, after that, after that lovely boiling session, um, you can, depending on how much water is left in it, usually there's not a lot of water left in it, so it's pretty good. But if, if yours has a lot of water, you can drain some of the water out. If yours does not have enough water, put some more water back in. Um, and then, uh, blend it. I use a submergible blender. Um, you can use any blender that you want. 
um, like a regular blender or like a ninja blender, whatever you want. Whatever your hearts desire. You use that blender how you would like to. Um, and then after it's all blended, you can just serve it up. It's good to go, just like that. Just getting rid of some of those paint lines. We don't want paint lines. I want things to be nice and smooth. So now I'm just painting carrots. Um, and you can garnish this with anything you want. Um, I don't. I don't put cream in it. I don't even put butter in it. You can put butter in it. Some people have. I don't because I feel like it's unnecessary. And once again, I'm lazy. Yeah, you guessed it. When it comes to, to cooking food, I am lazy. Um, I, I've uh, been on the keto diet for some time in, in the past and also present. Um, and uh, it's, it's like it just it makes your life difficult having to just do everything from scratch all the time constantly. And uh, it's not it's not the most ideal for those of us who are super lazy. Um, so shout out to anybody who like is a chef or cooks for a living or just cooks all the meals in their household. That's insane, and I very much appreciate that. Um, I know that my mom was like that. Shout out to my mom. Hey mom. Um, she very much like cooked all of our meals and went like the extra step all the time to make our meals like super good and she would make like separate meals for me and my brother because we didn't want to eat what everybody else was eating and we we're like really picky about things and she just compensated for that and was just like okay and like as an adult I'm like why would you do this um that's complete insanity um I should have been heavily beaten as a child for that but <laughs> what are you gonna do um <laughs> It turns out that's probably not the thing that you should do to children is beat them heavily, but I mean, it was the 80s. You could get away with a lot of things in the 80s. <laughs> oh no, I told you how old I am. Heaven forbid. Uh, all right, I'm just mixing up some more of the orange color because we want to have some orange soup. So that's going in here. Wee. You can tell how super careful I'm being because I really care. No, uh, this part just needs to be filled in. Fill it in. We'll add shading and stuff later, but for now, we just need to fill it in. <laughs> this part's going to be darker because it's in the shade of the carrots. This part here is going to be lighter because it's not in the shade of the carrots. And then we blend it out because it looks like crap right now. It's okay, we'll get there. Just gonna smoosh it about. Smoosh it about! We have a naturally occurring light area. And I think I'm going to keep it. Just got to blend out to it so that everything looks good. There we go. Yeah, soup texture. Heck yeah, soup. All right. I think I'm going to make that bowl brown. Because that seems fun to me. This is literally the same color brown as the background. I have not changed anything. Following the lines that I've already drawn. Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna start blending. Start blending! 
And then you'll see it's the same color. You'll be like, oh my god. Uh, burnt umber is the brown that I'm using right now. And it is a transparent brown. And so as a result, if you put it on thick, it'll look opaque and dark. But and when you, once you pull it out, <sighs> it'll look really good uh, and thin and, and uh, not as dark as you can see. Ta-da! Apparently this stream, this stream, this video is just going to be like a little more inappropriate than it should be for the YouTube. You're going to have to forgive me, everyone. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be this way. This is just what happened. This is life sometimes. Life. It do be like that. There we go. We'll add some more white in the middle section to bring that up. Okay. Get some more brown. Get it going over here. I don't know if anybody is going to be painting along with any recipes that they, uh, you know, have. Um, but if anybody actually cooks some of these recipes, let me know how it, uh, how you like it, how you ta how you taste, how you doobie, you know? <laughs> how how do you enjoy? your carrot soup. Do you like ginger with your carrot soup? Make it nice and spicy? Make it nice and spice, like I do? Or do you prefer your ginger soup or your carrot soup to not have ginger in it and for it to be like a cream of? Some people prefer the cream of. This is true. I'm just grabbing some more white because I believe that's a white onion. It's a white onion now. And you burned. This has got a little brown in it, and that is probably not good. <laughs> I was gonna say okay, but it's not. It looks really bad, so we're just gonna try to blend it away. There we go. Giving it a little shape there. Now we just gotta do the other side. Maybe a little in the middle. Well, that looks better. It looks much more oniony now. Just blend this part out a little more. There we go. Yeah, it actually is starting to look a little garlicky, but that's okay. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of green to the top, just a little bit, so it looks more oniony and less garlicky. You know? It's onion yeah, that yeah, yeah! <laughs> Heck yeah! Alright, we did it. That's great. Alright, I'm just going to clean my brush a little bit. And grab some more white. That's gonna be a little bit thicker than I've been using. 
so I can do some highlights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When doing highlights, highly recommend, cannot recommend enough, twirl your brush through your paints. Do not forget to do that. It's really important. It helps get your paintbrush to a peak, to a point, so that you don't have all of your lovely bristles all going which ways. You want them all to be together to a point, so make sure you have that to a point. Highlights through here. There we go. And now we want to have a little highlight on our soup. We'll do like a soup. There we go. Soup. You can't even see that highlight. That's how subtle it is. And then I'm going to do a little highlight through here. So it's a little more bright in this area here. Blend that out. But it still gives a little shape to our bowl. And I'm going to try to get a little bit thicker again. And try to see if I can get a little highlight on the edge of this bowl. The edge of the bowl. There! So it just gives us a little like, there's a lip there, you know? That's what we're going for anyways. So there we go. That is my carrot ginger soup recipe. It will be available as a, excuse me, as a recipe in a cookbook that is actually going to be a calendar. You're gonna get a two for one special deal. But you'll be able to still keep the recipe pages as their own unique item um after you're done with the calendar because they're going to be on opposite sides of the paper so uh, stay tuned for more information uh about uh that calendar when i'm going to do it what's happening with it because i don't know i make no guarantees right now because we're still very early in the year you know so don't expect too much of me right now <laughs> But if you do want to know more information, please feel free to contact me or ask me questions. You guys know all the drills. Speaking of drills, here is my thanks to all of my Patreons for continuing to support me, and I really appreciate you guys so much. And um, I hope that you guys remember that you are loved and you deserve to be loved, and I'll catch you next week. Mwah!